Welcome. With me today is Mr. Mike Powell, and Mike is the new head coach of the Park Lane Pioneers football team. Welcome to Park Lane Academy, Mike. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's just been in all the papers. Park Lane's looking for a new head football coach, so congratulations to you. You are a Park Lane graduate. Tell us when you graduated. I graduated in 1996 and um, played football for Coach Newland, Ken Jackson, and uh, Dan Lumen and those guys. Well, tell us where are you coming from coaching wise to Park Lane? I'm coming from Brookhaven High School. It's a 5A public school in uh, Lincoln County mm -hmm. and I've been there seven years. Uh, so I've been the offensive coordinator there and uh, before prior to that I coached in Louisiana for four years at Franklin High School so that's my my coaching background. Well now tell us about your family and how do they feel about this big transition for y'all? Very excited. Um, Actually, my wife, she, uh, she attended Bowling Green High School mm -hmm. and uh, actually finished her career at, at Franklinton High. So, you know, she's familiar with the uh, academy scene. And, um, you know, obviously my, my parents, you know, watching me play ball here. And it's, um, it's been tough because we can't talk about it. But now, <laughs> now we can. And, and everybody's just, I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest with you. It's just overwhelmed with joy and oh, excitement great. and just being able to come back and be a part of what we were a part of because it was just such a blessing to our family. And now we get to experience it again, and it's, it's an unbelievable blessing. I know as you're coming in, you've got this long history, not, not just Park Lane's overall uh, football history, but your history with Park Lane. Yeah. What are some of the positive things that you see coming in and that you're going to work with as you start out? Well, Park Lane has had a tradition from day one of being an excellent school. Uh, academics, faith, um, athletics. Uh, so I'm walking into a situation uh, where expectations are high and, and that's the challenge, that's the part of it I love and realizing that this school is, um, you know, they want to be winners and they want to be good in academics and they want to be good in their faith and that's what I want to be a part of and that's what's positive about this place is the tradition, the culture, uh, it's tops in the state and, and, and even when I was here it was and after I left it continued and it gets better every year and so when the opportunity came up it was really a no-brainer. I, I got to get back involved and be a part of, of what's great. That just sounds so exciting too because it sounds like you're interested in the kids as a whole, not just as football players. Absolutely. I, I just finished meeting with the team and uh, one of the first things I talked about was faith, uh, academics, and football. Um, obviously faith is uh, more important than anything and you know they're here ultimately at Park Lane to receive an education and uh, have the privilege of playing football while doing that. And that will be our number one goal is to make sure our, our student athletes are getting the best education they possibly can receive uh, in the state. And uh, hopefully winning a bunch of football games while doing it. <laughs> and having some fun too. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how you could have said that any better. Well, we are so looking forward mm -hmm. to you being here. So we have with us Mr. Mike Powell, the Park Lane Academy, new head football coach. Congratulations, and it has been a pleasure to meet you and look forward to many great seasons with you. Well, thank you very much. It's uh, definitely a pleasure to be here to have this opportunity, and I just look forward to getting started. Thank you. I thought it was important that you guys know uh, our staff. Uh, I plan on keeping that the same. I think these guys are great Christian men, and I think they – uh, deserve to be here and so there is no plans of changing our staff uh, and I told them in our coaches meeting uh, as of right now I don't plan on bringing anybody. Uh, I will take over the offense that's my uh, forte I guess you would say. Uh, I'm, a, I'm sure you can tell by body type I was an offensive lineman um, but we'll figure out who's coaching what and who's doing but I will be running the offense. I'm a spread offense guy uh, I like getting it and three wide, two back, under center, and hammering the folks also. Expectations. Probably more important than anything else this offseason is that you handle your grades. It is very important that you take care of that because let me tell you what happened. Uh, <clears throat> two years ago, uh, Brookhaven, we played for the 5A state championship up in Jackson. Uh, coming back the next year, which was this past season, right going into August, had a senior tailback, very good player, 
was excited about having him back, looking at doing a ton of things with him. Guess what? Ineligible. I mean, not only has he hurt himself, he has hurt the entire program. We had to revamp a lot of things that we were working on the su in the summertime, going like gun two back sets, because we had a uh, several tailbacks and we had some options. So guys, I'm telling you, and I can tell you right now, I'm going to be monitoring them as much as I possibly can. You will be good in the classroom, because that's what's most important. You're going to graduate, and if you're going to college, that's great, but you will take care of business this spring in the classroom. All right, now I don't, I'm not sure exactly how power supports and all that stuff. If you need help, you've got to tell me. I, and I told the coaches in the staff meeting, if there's a problem and I don't know about it, can't fix it, can I? I can't. I don't care if we have to get tutors. i got to sit down with you whenever. I don't care. I want the grades right. And they will be. It's not a choice. Or, you know, we can do something else. We will take care of academics. 